Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Abhirami and I am here to discuss with you about today's topic that is the hand and uh, we will be talking about the introduction to this chapter, the surface landmarks of the hand, the skin of the palm and then the creases, uh, the friction ridges and then the superficial fascia of the hand. Okay, so the hand basically has a palmar region and a dorsal region and uh, the movement of the hand takes place by the wrist joint. The wrist joint is made up of the bones of the carpal that is the proximal bones of the carpal and the radius. Okay, they articulate and form the radiocarpal joint. The scaphoid, lunate and uh, triquetral uh, unify with the radius and form the radiocarpal joint and uh, uh, the hand basically has four units it is the carpus thumb index finger and the other three digits okay so the four basic units are the carpus thumb in uh, index finger and the other three digits and the uh, carpal bones stabilize the mobile uh, two three four digits and uh, the hand has the metacarpal bones carpal bones and the phalanges so now let me talk about the surface landmarks of the hand. The hand has four surface landmarks that is the tubercle of scaphoid, tubercle of trapezium, pisiform and hook of hamate. Okay, so this is a picture showing all four of these uh, surface landmarks. In this the tubercle of trapezium can only be felt by deep palpation. So first let's start with the tubercular scaphoid. The tubercular scaphoid is present in the lateral side and it is present at the base of the uh, thenar eminence. It is present lateral to the uh, distal transverse wrist crease. Okay, so this is the distal transverse wrist crease and it is present lateral to the distal transverse wrist crease. That is on the thumb side. Okay, so it's present over here and it is present at the base of the thenar eminence. So this is the thenar eminence. It is present at the base of the thenar eminence and also it is present just lateral to the tendon of the flexor carpi radialis. Okay, so it is present at the base of the thenar eminence. It is present uh, lateral to the distal transverse wrist crease and it is present at the uh, it is present lateral to the tendon of the flexor carpi radialis. Next comes the tubercle of trapezium. The tubercle of trapezium is present distolaterally to the scaphoid and as I already told you it can only be felt by deep palpation. And then next comes the pisiform. The pisiform bone is present on the medial side. Okay, so this is the distal transverse crease. The little finger is on the medial side. So the pisiform bone is present on the medial side and uh, it is present on the medial side of the distal uh, transverse wrist crease. So it's present somewhere here at the base of the thenar eminence. The hook of hamate is also present in the medial side, at least one finger, uh, one finger breadth distance to the Pisiform bone. Okay, so that is all about the four surface landmarks of the hand. Then next comes the uh, skin of the palm. So the characteristic features of the skin of the palm is that uh, it can undergo wear and tear because we use it all the time. We use our hands all the time, so it undergoes wear and tear. And uh, in our palms, the sebaceous glands and the hair are absent. Rather, the uh, sweat glands are present in the hands. So in the palmar aspect, the sebaceous hands the sebaceous glands and the skin are absent and uh, instead the um, sweat glands are present and uh, the skin of the palm is immobile and it is deeply attached to the deep fascia it is firmly attached to the deep fascia at certain places which form the palm creases okay so now let's talk about the uh, palm cre uh, creases so creases can be present at the wrist at the uh, palm and at the uh, digits Okay, so it can be present at the wrist region, it can be present at the palm region and it can be present on the digits. So at the wrist region, there are only two creases that is the distal transverse wrist crease and the proximal transverse wrist crease. Okay, so the proximal transverse wrist crease is present at the um, radiocarpal joint or the wrist joint and uh, the distal transverse wrist crease is present proximal to the flexor retinaculum. Okay, so the deep transverse wrist crease is present proximal to the flexor retinaculum. So flexor retinaculum is somewhere over here. So it's present proximal to the flexor retinaculum and the uh, proximal transverse wrist crease is present at the base of the radiocarpal joint. 
okay and uh, uh, actually these uh, creases are produced because of the flexion when we uh, flex our uh, hand then the skin folds on that area and because of this the creases are produced next comes the uh, palm creases in the palm there are four creases and it can be divided into two types longitudinal creases and transverse creases okay so longitudinal creases are uh, longitudinal and they are the radial longitudinal crease and the mid palm longitudinal crease okay so and the transverse creases are again two that is the uh, distal transverse palm crease over here and then the proximal transverse palm crease over here so now let's talk about the radial longitudinal palm crease the radial longitudinal crease is actually taken as the lifeline in the palmistry so uh, during palmistry they'll calculate the lifeline and the fate and all so uh, radial um, the radial longitudinal crease is calculated as the uh, lifeline and also the uh, mid palm longitudinal crease is uh, calculated as the fate the radial longitudinal crease encloses the uh, thenar eminence and it is produced due to the flexion of the short muscles of the thumb. Likewise, the uh, mid palm longitudinal crease is uh, present in the uh, mid, mid region and uh, it also uh, is produced by the flexion of the short muscles of the little finger. Uh, it is present on the ulnar side or the hypothenar eminence side. Okay? Uh, and then uh, the proximal uh, transverse palm crease is present on the lower part and the distal transverse palm crease is present on the upper part near to the base of the digits. Now let's talk about the creases in the digits. And uh, there are three creases in the each digit. Uh, one is at the uh, distal part, one is at the proximal part and uh, the, uh, one, one is at 2 cm away from the metacarpal joint okay so one is at the this this crease over here is at two centimeter away from the metacarpal joint this crease over here is the proximal digital flexion crease and this crease over here is the distal digital flexion crease they are also produced because of flexion and when flexion takes place the crease will become more prominent now let's talk about the friction ridges so the friction ridges present over the finger pads are called the fingertips the fingertips are unique for each and every person even if the, uh, they are identical twins they will have different fingertips and uh, these fingertips are of uh, four types uh, these are arc arch type of fingertips and then a uh, hole type of fingertips and uh, the next one is the uh, loop type of fingertips and then the composite type of fingertip which has all three so these are the four types of fingertips and a picture of them is displayed here so um, these fingertips are as i said to you already are unique for each and every person therefore it can be used to identify the criminals and also the study of the classification and identification of fingertips is called as dermatoglyphics okay uh, so the study of classification and the identification of fingertips is called as dermatoglyphics and also there is a clinical anatomy related to this. The pe people with three pairs of 21st chromosome have Down syndrome and these people will have only one transverse uh, crease in the palm. So here we saw that there are two creases, a distal transverse palm crease and the uh, proximal transverse palm crease. But people with Down syndrome will have only one palm crease, uh, one transverse palm crease and it is called the simian crease. Okay, so a picture of that is also displayed here. Now let's talk about the last part that is the superficial fascia of the hand region. So the superficial fascia is made up of fibrous bands which bind them to the which binds the superficial fascia to the deep fascia. It has two important structures. The first is the superficial muscle palmaris brevis and uh, the palmaris brevis is present on the medial side of the hand on the or on the ulna side of the hand and uh, the next important structure is the, the superficial metacarpal ligament so this uh, superficial fascia actually thickens at certain points to form the superficial metacarpal ligaments which are present across the root of the fingers okay so now um, let me talk uh, more in detail about the palmaris brevis muscle the palmaris brevis muscle as i already mentioned to you is the superficial muscle present in the palm region and the palmaris mu brevis muscle is present on the medial side or the ulnar side and also the palmaris brevis muscle resembles the uh, panicular carnosis muscle in the vertebrates and uh, the palmaris brevis muscle is originated from the flexor retinaculum and the palmar aponeurosis 
it gets inserted into the medial uh, side of the uh, palm uh, medial skin of the palm and the palmaris brevis muscle uh, is supplied by the ulna nerve and uh, its action is that when we clutch something tightly in our hand it causes the uh, creases over the medial side of the uh, palm this helps in the uh, this helps to prevent the ulnar displacement of the uh, hypothenar eminence so thank you for uh, listening to me this is the end of the video i hope you like this video and if you like this video please like share and subscribe and comment on it thank you